What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we are gonna be wrapping a tow truck with this print that we just did. This is just the one you're seeing right here. It's just the test print. I just finished laminating it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the laminating process right now. Give it a little bit of tension. Just makes it a little smoother. We're gonna get this door fully down and we can start flowing onto the rest of that there. So here I've got some fingers, wrinkles, whatever you want to call them. We're just gonna push those into the crease by the door here. Get rid of them. We've got a big gap here between the door.
now doing working on the back of the truck. Got that all finished. Um, working on the back end here. We are gonna do the fenders afterwards separately, but I've kind of figured out how to manipulate it to work like this. So, as you can tell, this is all down. I'm just gonna trim and make the cut here and then push a little bit down here, as you can tell, right there. But it's actually working out really well and we're not distorting it too much. Got a little, little wave in here, but considering. So yeah, we're just gotta work this down and then wrap the fender and get, get this down here. And then some trimming. All right, so I'm almost done this fender now. I've got just this little piece here to deal with and then I gotta just push this down a little bit more yet. Um, and then do my trim there post heat that stuff, trim that, trim this stuff, uh, tuck in there a little bit more, trim that, and then trim this. And then we are good on this side. So hoping to get this side done quickly today. And then I gotta head out and get a bunch of orders done. And tomorrow we finish the other side. Now I know this looks like, if you've, I'm not sure if you can see it, but how rough this looks, that is honestly just the paint. <laughs> The paint on this thing's bad like that right there that's those are runs and whatnot so yeah anyway <laughs> it's not a new tow truck by any means so i wish it was it would make my job look a lot better but hey it is what it is and this is the job we were given this is the truck we were given this is what we're doing So we got this side down, pretty much down, like all of it down, laid down, not obviously not pushed all the way around and we're not having any trimming or anything yet, but it's laid other than the bottom piece there. Now we gotta start moving this way. I'm first gonna get more of this down and then take the backing off of all of this. Well, from here, there, there, get that down a little bit more there. And then I just take the rest of the backing off and it's just a lot of playing, like a lot of back and forth, lifting, push, stretching, pushing, heating, that kind of stuff. I now have the one side done. Other than that, this side is done. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Make sure you guys comment down below your thoughts. Come over to the other side here. I got the door started. I'll get the door finished here and then we can move on to the back. So this will probably take another couple hours to get the back. The main thing that takes long is these fenders because I'm doing them all as one and then just cutting. Um, well, I'll just show you on the other side. And then I just cut this cut this stuff here just because you're just going to try tucking in it's going to cause you issues you need to release to cut that and then cut back a little bit because you're not going to get it stick properly not on these
We got the all the, got all main parts done, all laid down, trim, post heated. I also had to trim a bunch of extra stuff like this because of this rust. Like this is just the customer is aware of this. It's not ideal to wrap at all. Um, you can tell I tried to do my best I could. I had to trim all this back, all this back. But this is, this gives you guys a good example of why when a customer comes in, you should be explaining to them what their vehicle looks like. You should be taking a close look at it and explain what you can and cannot do with the situation of the vehicle. Now, I mean, I did what I could. Now, ideally, you don't want to be installing stuff like this because it's if it fails, the customer is going to blame you. Now we're going to do a piece on the hood yet. Imperfections. As you can tell here, we got a bunch of little imperfections on the hood too. Same idea. I'm just going to have to heat it up a bunch and hope it stays. But other than the fact of the rust and everything, it looks good. The blue, we got the blues to match. The blues in the logo, we got, he's got blue there. So, I mean, it looks good. It'll stand out. It just sucks that it has the rust and I couldn't do as thorough of a job as I would have liked to with the wrapping. All right, so here we got our plotter. It is reading the registration marks. Now it's gonna cut out these uh, numbers. This is a unit number for this truck. And then it's also going to cut out the print for the hood. So we're gonna let this thing do its thing. I'm gonna go do a little bit more post heating on the rest of the truck. And I can quickly weed all this stuff, mask that, and get this guy installed. And we'll be done this install. So if you guys are enjoy if you guys are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you guys' thoughts are on this design. And uh yeah, hopefully you guys learned a little bit of something and enjoyed the video. Oh, here we go, finished product. We got the logo on the hood here. It's kind of hard to tell with the lights, even though those lights are awesome. Super bright. Here we go, full wrap. Well, not full. It's cut off like this, right? But still. Let me put the unit numbers on, hood, and the other side. If you guys are local in Manitoba and need a wrap, check out the description. Also, if you need a tow, check out Windy Lane Towing. They, they tow vehicles, that's what it says. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Peace.